Your Aquadam was manufactured to the highest engineering standards. Save time, resources, money, and help minimize the impact in and around protected areas. There are numerous situations where people work with or near water. The installation of an Aquadam is no different, and so there are inherent risks. These risks can include minor scrapes to serious injury and or death. Layfield highly recommends that prior to the beginning of the installation of an Aquadam, an assessment of the potential risks is made, and appropriate steps are taken to mitigate these risks. For more safety information, please refer to the Aquadam Installation Guide booklet. For your basic installation requirements, we recommend that you have a number of equipment and resources on hand. Please refer to the Aquadam Installation Guide booklet to learn more. When the Aquadam is at its rated height at the lowest point along its path, it is full. Do not try to overfill. Please see the chart in the installation guide for the recommended filling heights. Most Aquadam for homeowners or small businesses can fit in the back of a pickup truck. Larger dams may require a trailer. The Aquadam will arrive on site rolled up. Carefully with scissors, unpack and remove any shrink wrap or rope that may be securing the Aquadam. Confirm orientation and unroll the unit along the chosen path with the self-supporting end opposite to the starting point. With hoses in place, ensure a clean and secure Velcro connection. There will be a coupling collar at the above end. Do not remove this. You will need it if you're making a connection. The secondary safety mechanism comes attached with the Aquadam. It is comprised of a set of cam buckle and straps. This mechanism is designed to provide another layer of safety in the event the primary Velcro connection is compromised. The secondary safety mechanism should not be in tension during the filling process. Connect the fittings to the supplied hoses, then add water into both inner tubes at the same time. Be sure to push out air pockets so it may be expelled through the fill tubes. Once filled, wrap duct tape or tie rope tightly around the fill tubes to restrict the fill tube to a manageable size. Fold the taped fill tubes back onto each other and tape them together in an upright position. All self-supporting Aquadams come with a coupling collar at the closed end. To begin, slide the end of Aquadam number 2 into the collar of Aquadam number 1. Allow for approximately 18 to 24 inches of excess material against Aquadam number 1. Be sure to keep the Aquadam flat and even within the collar. Then connect the hoses to the supplied cam lock connections. Begin filling the Aquadam number 2. When filling is complete, fold and strap or tape the hoses in an upright position. When two or more Aquadams are connected together, the downstream Aquadam is removed first by pumping or siphoning out the water. To remove your double closed ended Aquadam, start by removing the tape from the fill tubes, then disconnect the safety straps and Velcro. Allow the tube to release through the collar and empty the Aquadam. Remove the collar and remove any residual water starting at the closed end. Lift and work towards the open end. Flatten the poly tubes to ensure there isn't any twisting, then fold the end of the Aquadam back. Fasten Velcro number 1 to Velcro number 1. Bunch the tubing together and insert into the hole located on the flap. Do not twist the tubing material. Fasten Velcro number 2 to Velcro number 2. Install the collar over the folded system up to the location of the Velcro. Ensure the Aquadam is flat within the collar, then flatten and roll. Once the Aquadam is drained as much as possible, pull the open end to a low position. For easier storage of Aquadams using a cart, please contact Layfield Customer Service.